All right, so I'm about to play devil's advocate with you for a minute, man. Uh, part of the pre-trip is the is to make sure everything is 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 going on with your truck, i.e., your fire extinguisher. What's what's up? Did you you didn't know that the fire extinguisher was was empty, or you used I it? I didn't even get that far. Oh God damn! I I, got- I get that, yeah. I see you. You go all the like. I, I ain't even get that yet. Well, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm reading. I'm, I'm reading. You know, I'm yeah, looking at I your. Know. I'm, yeah, I just told you, you know, the stuff that I got, but right. I ain't get that yet. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. I ain't even get that far. Oh God damn! I, I, got- I get that yeah. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. All right, let's do this. Trucker, Trucker Zoe in the building. My man. What up? What up, what up, what up with you, my guy? What's going on, man? Not much, just out here. All right, that's that's what's up, man. Thank you for coming on the show. I really do appreciate it, man. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? yeah. Introduce yourself. Uh, your name, age, status, and trucking, and where you from, my guy? Yeah, I'm um, Zoe, 36, born and raised in Chicago. Uh, right now, I live in Indiana. Uh, prior um, from leaving Chicago, I went into the military. Lived out in North Carolina about um, 16 plus years. All right, man. Just recently moved to Indiana. All right, man. Um, All right. So you said. uh, Probably about three months ago. All right, man. So you said uh, Chicago. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Not Chicago, man. Uh, Yeah, right on the low end. (laughs) Let's, Southside. Let's get this let's, let's get into it, man. So um you you reached out to me. Uh you know, you want me to uh holler at a couple of couple of places so that you know you can get you know get the gist on what they offering and everything. But you you right. you you came back to me with some interesting tidbits, bruh. I mean, you, you, yeah. you said that, uh, you said that you didn't have the best record. You had a few violations. Not at all. You got a few violations. Right. Uh, one of which is H O S falsifying laws. What happened yeah. with that, bro? Well, I mean, when I first started driving, um, I didn't you know take hours of service. You know, I took it, I guess, for a joke, I guess, or for granted. I didn't, you know, take it serious. Like if I needed to get somewhere, it it didn't matter, you know, about that clock. Like I'm, I'm gonna get there. And the company, you know, I was working for, they ain't, I was working for Trans Am at the time. And uh, they never said nothing. And um, when I'm ready to go home, I'm ready to go home. I'm going to put it that way. All right. So we're talking, about, we, we're talking about Trans Am. I mean, they're, they're sort of like a mega mega carrier of sorts so you saying that they you know they 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 kind of like juking the the eld no they not doing that um at all oh so you I saying mean, you on violation oh okay so you saying you like, just went you you just kept on you just kept on driving without you know without right but let me ask you this if you if you kept doing that before you got before you got caught 
did Trans Am say anything to you? I mean, I, I would imagine that they would be like, hey, bro, you know, you kind of like uh, driving out of hours. Like, what's what's going on over there, my guy? I mean, like, what I do, I drive down to like the last minute, pull over and switch it over to a personal convenience. And I get to driving. They'll call, but I wouldn't ask. You know, like, they'll call so many times. And, like, I know why they call them. But, you know, I just never answer. And, um, if, like, they just stop calling. I did it for a while. You know, like, a real long time, like, you know, uh, quite a bit. And um, I got it. Uh, well, well, I needed to be home. And uh, I can't remember. It was a while ago what day I needed to be home. Well, the load that they um put me on, it was taking me basically past the house. And I'm like, man. Nah, I told you I need to be home on this day, but this load going past the house and it deliver on the, uh, I, I think it was that day or the day after. And the lady or the dispatcher, like, she'll have somebody meet me somewhere. And uh, we're like, I forgot what they call it, but trade out loads, whatever. Yeah, I, I, and, forgot, uh, I, I forgot. I uh, forgot. Uh, different companies call it different. Uh, over right. here, over here yeah. where I'm at, we just we just simply call it a swap out. You know, we we just meet up with yeah. another driver, swap trailers, and keep it moving. But let me. Well, first thing first, I, I want to say, bruh, the company that I'm driving for that wouldn't fly. I she 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 would cut your. She she will cut your personal conveyance off at the knees, my guy. That 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 would not right. that that would not fly. But the, the comp, you know, they would get you home if if you needed to be home on on a particular day. They they ain't gonna play with you. They they gonna have you home on that particular day. So you you probably will probably be able to use personal conveyance to get the rest of the way home if it's like an hour or something like that. But uh, if you like, right. if you like all the way out, yeah, you you're gonna have to sit down and and reset the the time. But bro, okay, so yeah. where See, where I did you get where, in the load? Oh, okay. So where so where was you where was you hemmed up at? Where did you where did where did you get caught? And what was the ticket like? Um, I was um. What is you know that TA um in Baltimore? Well well you gotta go through um the toll booth, I guess. And um I wasn't paying attention, whatever. And I like I came out, you know, the um tunnel, whatever, and I was supposed to be all the way in the far right. I'm not sure if you know what I'm talking about, but it's so, it's like so many souls, probably over 20 or whatever. And like I was going through one, it said basically under five ton or whatever. I'm like, oh shit, I need to be way over there. Well, instead of me just keeping straight, my dumb ass like turned all the way right. And basically, I was taking up all the lays, and people would move out the way. And God um, damn, bro! The, yeah, I did. The, yeah, I was that dumbass. But, so they, so they, uh, so they, so they, the trooper pulled you over right then and there. Oh, this coffee smells like shit. Well, he it was two of them that came up and got the um, traffic to move, and basically, I um, they had me do a big ass U turn 
and get right. And right, um, as soon as you get through the booth, it's a wall, a big ass shoulder, a white wall. And uh, he told me, I thought I was cool, whatever. But he stopped me, like, hey, when you get through there, I need you to pull over on that wall. I already knew what it was then when he said that. Man, at this time, I probably would PC in for probably 23 hours and 45 minutes or something. Damn. Like, I would, like, yeah, I was probably like 20 minutes away from um, the constant. And um, that when I got caught, um, he did a um, inspection, and uh, he looked at the clock. He looked, he just laughed at my ass. He was like, he ain't never said you no know, shit like that. That's what he told me. But how can I imagine? He was like, what you got going on? You know, I told him. I'm like, man, I need to get home. He was like, nah. Um can't do it like that, you know. And I, I was a um, new driver, you know, at that time. And, you know, he asked how long I would drive. At that time, I probably was driving about uh, um, January, February. Yeah, it's about three months I was driving. This was going on my third month, and March. Okay, so you already told me and, uh, you you already told me that uh you know the company wait. tried to call you you know call you and call you and call you and you you ignored the call, but god damn bro twenty three hours on PC. Man, I PC a lot. Like, yeah, like that's what I did. Like, um, uh, I needed to get somewhere. I got there. All right. Well, so what was uh, so he, what was he did the, an inspection? Right. So what was the falsifying laws? Uh, uh, HOS violations. He, what what was did he? Right. He gave. Uh, of course, of course, he gave you a ticket, and you had to give that. Of right. course, you had to give that ticket. You know, the ticket and the inspection to Trans Am. But how much was the ticket? And did you? Did you have to go to court? Did you have to pay a fine? No, what? I didn't. Yeah, I, I paid a fine. He actually he took it easy on me. He say, um, the fine was only um either thirteen or fourteen hundred dollars. What you sounding he like, told bro? Me wait, wait, no. wait. Hold, hold up. Hold, hold on, bro. You you over here talking like it's only thirteen hundred dollars? Only. Thirteen hundred dollars, bro. Like, and, and you paid it? No, nah, it could have been way. No, see, what I'm saying is, he was like, normally, the fine is um, like, either thirteen thousand or fourteen thousand. But that's he, what he told me. But he, but he took it easy on me. And did said. and did thirteen hundred. Yeah, and I had 30 days to pay it. 30 days to pay it. Well, my license, he said, was going to be suspended. He gave me the ticket, um, told me where to um, send the payment or where to go to pay it. And um, he put me um, out of service. And um, also, I had one of my lights. Um, you know, uh, what's that? The pigtail, when it's loose, it like your lights go on and off. You got to like basically put some a wet, like wedge something in there to keep it on. He got me for that because, um, the light would, um, uh, um, stay on or something. And yeah, he, um, told me to go to, um, that TA. And uh, take a um, ten-hour break, and I have to get uh, basically replace that um, pigtail or electric line. Wow, my God! And, uh, 13 k man. Woo! 
and you and you paid it. You 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 paid it out of pocket. Yeah, I paid thirteen hundred. Not he said it could have been thirteen thousand, but uh, he t- said by me being new, he gonna take it easy on me. But the next time is gonna be that thirteen thousand. It was either thirteen thousand or fourteen thousand. I really can't remember, but it was. Um, I ended up paying thirteen hundred or fourteen hundred. I got a. I still got the ticket. Wow, bro. So, all right, so, all right, so of course it'll be off my record though. Um, the middle of March. So, so how how if it's coming off your record yeah. this 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 year? How how long ago did you get it? Like what? A couple of years ago. It'll be three years, uh, like, I want to say March 12th or something like oh. that in 2020. <sighs> wow, bro. And, uh... Well, what's, what's this yeah. other... What's, what's this... Uh, okay, so you still... So with this other stuff that you got hemmed up with, were you still with Transam when this was going on, too? You had, a. Uh, you had one for flat tire, empty fire extinguisher, and three no, accidents, bro. No, I was with another company. No, I left Trans Am. Um, see, it's crazy because I was leaving them to go to this other company. Um, it was a company called Grand Island Express. I was going over there. And uh, when that happened, um, I told the people, you know, what happened, you know, when I um, got put out of service. And basically, they said I had to wait. So um, I ended up leaving. Um, Well, I stayed a little bit, and I ended up going to um, Melton. Um. That's flatbed company out of Oklahoma, Tulsa. Well, before they allowed me to come, they said I needed to um, pay that ticket. And uh, that stuff, or them other violations with um, the flat tire and that uh, empty fire extinguisher, it's a long story. It's a process before getting there. Okay, so well, before we get so before I, we get to Melton, you you left Trans Am, but what did Trans Am say? Did they say anything about the, uh, the about the violation and anything like that? Because you had to give them the well, the, they, you know, you yeah, had to give them the paperwork. Yeah. They um like. Day, maybe Friday morning and uh, I got put out of service um, Thursday or it was like one morning I did um, a 10 hour break and uh, I went to go uh, swap out uh, it was a dropping hook somewhere I did that and I went home Tuesday um, somebody, uh, from safety called and they asked me about it. They asked, did I, um, get the light fixed and all this, that, and the third. And I'm like, nah, nope. I'm like, this happened about what? Three, four days ago. And you just now calling me. And you're like, well, you not know it was a dude. He was like, well, you wasn't supposed to leave until they got fixed. I'm like, why the hell would I stay there? And, and like, you know, y'all don't pay me enough money any fucking way. And I told him straight up. And, you know, that was, I hung up the phone, continued on. I, I was on another um, load. And then uh, I ended up, I started talking to Melton. After, when I got 
that um violation. I think I um stay with Trans Am probably about two, maybe three weeks, I think. No, I say two weeks. And um I end up paying that ticket and Melton, you know, they were all right. Um I was good to go, so I ended up going home. And, uh, well, I was in a main terminal. Trans Am main terminal is in, um, I can't remember. Can't, not Tampa. It's somewhere. It's far as hell from North Carolina. I know that. They um, thought I was going to stay there over the weekend. I ended up deadheading all the way from their main terminal to uh, North Carolina to uh, clean out my truck. And uh, I turned in their truck in uh, Tampa, Florida, and went back to North Carolina and um, got a uh, rental car from North Carolina to uh, Tulsa. And I um, started doing, uh, well, I had to go with a um, trainer um, at Melton. I had to do the securement training. And, like, at that time, they required, I think, um, six months over the road experience. I didn't have that. So because I didn't have it, I had to go out with a trainer for about um, two and a half, three weeks. All right. So, and, um, with, so with with Melton, um, yeah, we could we could skip the particulars with Melton because with Melton, yeah, if you don't have flatbed experience or anything like that, yeah, you you have to go out with a trainer and make sure that uh, you know all about no, securement and everything. But, nah, it's the over the road experience that they want. I didn't have six months over the road that they um, wanted. Now, but they still, but they still um, brought they, you, but they still brought you in regardless of the fact that you had that uh, that HOS violation, though. I mean, they still brought you right, in. Right, they did. Right, yeah, they did. Okay, yeah. okay. So, like I said before, we can, we, yeah, we we could. You know, we can skip all of that. You are, you know, you 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 now with Melton. You're driving. You're driving with Melton now. But what a, what's up with the? Uh, what, was you with Melton when you got the when you got in the three accidents? I say I gotta get there. You gotta get. I so was you, getting there. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you okay? So you got the accidents. Before you got to Melton. I what? got the first accident I was with Melton. Okay, so. This was about six. No, I went with Melton, I think, the end of March or something. I got in the first accident, and um, it was July 23rd. And it was a bad accident. Uh, I fucked up. Uh, I was in um, Tennessee on the 40. It was late at night, about 2 in the morning. And um, I had to piss. I pulled over on the shoulder. And uh, I was like on a dang incline, whatever. And I, uh, I didn't pull both brakes. I didn't pull the trailer brakes. And, well, anywho... So I get up to go piss in a bottle, whatever, and I'm like, damn, something feel crazy. Something don't feel right. Man, my damn uh, truck just going downhill like crazy to the butterfly. I'm talking about fast. Like, the gravity was holding me back. By the time I got into that seat to stop that truck, it was too late. Another truck rear-ended me. When he rear-ended me, he had rolled over and slid. Another truck prevented from hitting me, went inside the ditch on the right, 
and it broke. Um, he broke his fifth wheel. Man, it was bad. It was real bad. I thought dude was dead. Hold, but yeah, hold, it was bad. Hold, hold, hold on, hold, hold on. God, look, look, oh my God, Lo, you, you, okay, so in other words, it's, it's a, it's, it's a thing we call a sitting duck. So basically, you pulled over to the side of the shoulder. I pulled off on the shoulder. You yeah. pulled off on the shoulder. And unfortunately, you didn't. You you only pop you only pop one ear, but you didn't pop the other one. The truck right, started. Exactly. So was yeah. you? So was you in? You you was outside of the truck when the truck started to roll. No, I was in the sleeper pissing in a bottle, and like I could like you know like you could feel something not right going on the damn truck rolling back and the gravity pulling me it like pulled me into the bed that's how fast it was going so as as you going backwards and you trying to hurry up and get up in the seat the 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 stop the truck another truck on the way up the yeah, incline right the other truck, another no, truck. No, he coming down. Okay, so another truck. So the so how did or, you get rear-ended? He, it was another truck no, that was coming up, right? No, he rear-ended me like the truck. Okay, no, I'm going down the hill. And like. Right. He, um. And the truck is coming up the coming, hill. The, he's coming up the hill. He ended going, up hitting me. Right, he rear-ended me. Right. He's. He's coming up the hill while you going down the yeah. hill, and he ran into you. Right. Or See, vice it versa. Like the truck, the truck that I was in, it like went down and it took up both, uh, both um, the right and left lane of the um, highway the, or the intersection. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Oh, okay. In. So this is so so this is this accident right here is with Melton of of course. I'm 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 not even going to I'm 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 just going to just just look at this as they got rid of you because of that. But did uh, was there any? Uh, I mean, you said this was like it turned into a major major accident bro how how are you still driving trucks after that it was an accident what you mean how i'm still driving trucks yeah bro it was an accident I, yeah, I, I, bro didn't you like, say that? are you telling me because it's an accident no. i'm supposed they supposed to just take me out the truck i mean i'm human Right. It's a mistake. Right. I get no no. Listen, I get you on that, my guy. I, I get you on that. I mean, you know, it's simple mistake. You know, you probably forgot to pop the other uh the other brake or whatever, whatever, but you had to piss. So yeah. But still, I mean that the accident is on I mean, if they if if the the I mean if the troopers looking at that, they're gonna say the accident is on you. That was your fault. So, right. You know, you 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 caused the you being that they said that you caused the ma uh, a major accident. I mean, you did you have to go to court or anything like that? Can I take your order? Can I get a tall chai? A uh, large black coffee. A what? Large black coffee. Do you mean a venti? No, I mean a large. He means a venti. Yeah, the biggest one you got. A venti is large. Mm, no, venti is twenty. No, I ain't had to do none of that. None, none of it. None. I just, I, uh, and actually, I ain't even get a ticket. But yeah, the uh, accident was 110% my fault because of um, what happened. But no, I did not get a ticket. No, I nothing. I just, the only thing I end up um, continue to work for them for about maybe 
three weeks. They routed me to their terminal to um, Laredo, and they terminated me for it three weeks after the fact. Okay, they now, they was trying to get you. They they was trying to get you down to uh, so that you could talk to a, a safety person. That's 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 why you lasted that long. It sounds like how they did, like how U.S. Express did me. Um, like I'm on my way home in Ohio, so I'm like in between uh, Ohio and Georgia. So instead of routing me over to say like Chattanooga or something like that, they wanted me to come down to Georgia. So you know, but that, at from. Georgia, yeah, at Georgia, that's where they had they the safety person to come to meet me there to tell me that you know i gotta go or whatever so in your case in your case they knew would they knew they already knew that they already had you on a chopping block it was just a matter of getting you down to uh, a terminal so they can so they can do it so they 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 hemmed you up in in texas Laredo, 23 hours away from where I lived at the time. And the crazy part, I had that accident. It was a Friday. I was going to, um, I, I actually, I was hauling the OD um, low over dimensional pipe. And I wasn't supposed to see Melton. They, um, when you hauling um, OD low, you cannot. Hall at night, only daylight hours only. I was driving at night. I had an over dimension low, one of them um, long pipes. It probably, it wasn't that long. It probably was about, uh, I say, five feet past the rug rails, if you uh, know what I'm talking about. Okay. 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 And, okay. Uh, all right, so I went to deliver the load that Saturday. I was two hundred and twenty some odd miles away from the house. I was going to go clean because I just knew they were going to fire me, and it is what it is. I accept it, but now I was going to go clean out my truck and just go turn they shit in like fuck, you know. But uh, my uncle talked me out of the shit. He was like, you know, like, because he had an accident that was worse. You wait, know, low, 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 low. Wait, I, I just I, I, just had to pull this back. You, so the accident, the, the accident, the, was the truck tore up? You were still, you were still able to drive that truck for, for three weeks? The truck was no. He hit the um the um the damn like the, trailer. The, um the trailer and the um pipe. He messed up the um back of the trailer, but it it was still like it wasn't that bad. How like his truck? He couldn't drive his truck. He couldn't drive it. You know, it had to be towed away. The other guy truck had to be towed away because of his fifth wheel. But uh, yeah, I um, went to deliver the load, dropped that trailer off at some shop that they wanted me to drop it off at so it can be repaired. But yeah, my truck wasn't bad at all. Wow. Like, wow. Mm -hmm. Woo. All right, so of course Melton let you go. Uh, so where Hell did they, yeah, where, they where, let me go? Where where did the where where did the top where did the other two accidents come from? Different companies or the same company? Oh, the other ones, no, they were different. The other ones, they wasn't my fault. Like it was, you know, simple people rear-ended me for not paying attention. Like. Oh, okay. 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 You know, uh, all right. people just rear end you. All right. So I'm about to play devil's advocate with you for a minute, man. Uh, part of the pre-trip is the 
is to make sure everything is 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 going on with your truck i.e your fire extinguisher what's what's up did you you didn't know that the fire extinguisher was was empty or you used I it i didn't even get that far oh god damn i so i get that yeah I see you. You go all the, like I, I ain't even get that yet. Well, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm reading. I'm, I'm reading. You know, I'm yeah, looking at you. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I just told you, you know, the stuff that I got, but right. I ain't get that yet. I'm still. We still. You know. You know. Um. I went with, um, well, Melton, they let me go, okay? Nobody would take me until somebody else hired me because of, you know, the accident, all right? The only company um, that took me was a company called Big M. Um, they out of um, Blue Mountain, Mississippi. Okay, and, uh, okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. So the companies, of course, you put in applications, and definitely companies didn't 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 want to, you know, give you a, a a third chance. Um. So big M. No, no, that was the first accident. Okay, I, but like, we, this was my first accident. Right, right. We like, got the we, like right. We got the accident. The beginning. Right, we we got the accident, but we still got we we still got the violation on that as well. So we got we got the violation, we got the accident. Right, friend, yeah. Right. So So I got that violation plus that accident. accident. Yeah. So now Big M is in is in play. They they looked at that and they say, Okay, well, we gonna right, give you say you, that again. You cut now. Nah. No, I said big, big M. You, you, you told Big M about the the violation that you got, and the accident. Now Big M is saying, okay, well, we're gonna give you a third chance. What happened with them? Oh, you cut out. Like I didn't hear anything that you said. I no. Can you hear me now? I can hear you now. But oh, okay, okay, okay. I didn't hear so, anything. So big, so I, I'll I'll cut it short. With the accident and the and the uh, 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 the violation, Big M is giving you another chance. So what happened right. with them? Yeah, they did. Um. Well, they like on the. Uh, they were a little bit, they good company, I guess, but like it was, they were like a little bit too slow at, you know, with the money, like the mouth. And um, I ended up leaving them because I went with um, USA Truck. I, when I went with USA Truck, they were good. But they equipment was jacked up. So they um like they um assigned me like three different tractors. And um like each one of the tractors it derated. It um the transmission jacked up on it. And so they sent me to pick up a um a truck that somebody um um left like they abandoned it in um Dunn, North Carolina. When uh they got me a rental car to go pick up the uh the tractor, when I got to the tractor, uh I've noticed the guy who had the truck, uh who abandoned the truck, he had trashed the truck, destroyed it. Uh and um I took pictures of it. The two steers, um, they were bald. And uh, I called them. I called USA to let them know. They called somebody to come and change out them two tires. Well, the other, um, 
eight tires were good. I went home because I live right not too far from there. And um, anywho, I did a little bit of home time, got in the truck, whatever, got pulled over by the other, and one of the tires was flat. I did notice when I got to the um, truck that that fire extinguisher, it was. I did notice that. I noticed, like, the guy, he sprayed the shit all in the truck. Like, he, like, trashed a truck for whatever reason. And um, the seats were broken. The truck was trashed. And, um, anywho, I cleaned it up a little bit where I could drive it. Went home for a few days. Um, got right back in the truck. I did not do a pre-trip. I did not check the tires. Because if I would have checked the tires, I would have noticed the flat. Or maybe the flat happened up until the guy stopped me. When the um, guy, he pulled me over, I think, for, uh, I can't remember what level inspection. And, you know, he checked the tires and it was flat. It didn't look flat, but when he dumped on it, you can see that the shit was flat. And then the fire extinguisher, so he got me for those. All right. So initially, you you reached out to me so I can, I can, I can holler at Swift on their uh lease side um i hate to say this because i i i talked to swift plenty of times um i i haven't talked to him i i, I think i did i think i did touch on their lease side but bro i i honestly don't think swift gonna give you gonna gonna, gonna rock out with you with that man I mean, not with all that on on, on your record. Dude, we, we talking about Swift transportation, Swift right. night. We we talking about Swift night transportation. I I know for a fact right. that they got that that they got rid of a female. They they got rid of a female for a twenty eight hundred dollar uh, tow bill, and you know, and she was a rookie. Like you know, she went down made a you know made a turn too tight and and got caught right, up in, yeah. and got caught up in the ditch and the tow company right. the, you know she was in a little hick town and the and the tow company came and got her out and charged her twenty eight hundred dollars i mean twenty eight thousand right. my fault my fault i'm saying hundred they charged her twenty eight thousand dollars or charged the company yeah the, uh that amount of money they routed her right back to the they routed her right back to the uh to the terminal and and <laughs> right off the rip so i mean with with everything that's on your jacket man i i highly doubt that they'll you know that they'll would give you a chance even though we know you know swift you know, it's known for giving people chances, but God damn it, man! Yeah. I mean, you got you you got a lot of you you got a lot of stuff on your jacket, my guy. I my, I I mean, I would. Yeah, but it also going to be gone in a few months, and I you know I respect what you say, mm -hmm. but I'm still going to give them a try. Right? I'm not, I, mean, I mean, no, 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 yeah, right. Feel. Right, 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 right. No, I'm I'm not discouraging you. Uh, that you know that's no, you're not, yeah. you're not. No, don't don't think you are. I'm just right. I'm still because whatever you saying that that don't mean I'm going and I don't care what's in the comments and right. fuck whoever, whatever. And <laughs> I anyway, feel it. like no, I'm with it. You know, I'm with the shit. You know, but <laughs> I'm not it. gonna. You, I'm not. I'm not. You know, I'm still gonna try. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Give, give me a go, yeah, I give will them a try. You no, know. no, definitely I'm not, give them a try. Because but I how was, you feel, yo, well, that, that don't mean shit to me. Right. I, I was gonna say, and my, I don't mean this no 
disrespect towards no, you. No, I you got could, nothing but respect for you. Hey, I, I appreciate but I'm, it. I'm no, just I'm good. letting you know straight up. Damn good coffee. And hot. Right. I'm good. No, 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 no. I'm 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 good with that. I was just saying like maybe, you know, like I said, you know, still give them a try, but you might also want to try to you know, you might want to try the Black Ops companies. I mean, even though Nah, Even fuck though we... that. I'm with one already. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, well, if you... So you had, if if you was, like, if, okay, so hey, if you woke up... Hey. If you... No. Wait, wait, no, whoa, I'm low, trying to get low, my low, shit if you woke up... If you woke up black... Bro, what's... Okay, if you woke a black ops company right now, I mean, why you want to... Uh, <sighs> Why you? Nah, cause you just, you just like, <laughs> man, nah. I'm with one already. <laughs> my hey, guy said, hey, my guy I said rub, I'm with one already. I run, I run 43. <laughs> hey, hey, I run about 4,300 miles a week. Okay. So what's the so right, so low? What, what's what's the problem? Me. What, wait, wait, wait. What's, what's the problem uh, nah, if you run that. it? No, nah. oh, come on, bro. They, no, what they doing? Messing I with the money? I, the, Are, no, they ain't messing with the money. It's okay. the way I'm running. I ain't trying to do it like that. Oh, I'm okay. trying to get my shit together. I'm, okay. trying to, I'm trying to get on this straight and narrow. Sli like, okay. I'm tired of being fucked up. Okay. See what I'm saying? Okay. Like, I got a co-driver. Okay. I ain't got ain't no damn co-driver in this damn truck, <laughs> but I got a co-driver. I drive about 15, 16 hours a fucking day. Right. Sometimes longer than that. Okay. I just drove from North fucking Dakota, and I'm going to New York City. <laughs> I, I'll be in New York City at 7. I just left North Dakota yesterday. <laughs> That's, hey, that's 1,800 miles. Right. You feel me? Right. Yeah, I, 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 I'm trying to get straight. Okay, okay, For real. okay, facts. I'm trying facts. to, that's why, that's why I asked you and I, you know, hey, could you check these people out? Can you ask these? Because I like the way you do it because I'll fuck around and say some shit to them motherfuckers. <laughs> and I like it what you do because you the voice for us okay okay so, i appreciate it you I know appreciate it. like okay. like like straight up like i'm not yo i'm trying to get straight i'm trying to yo i ain't been caught yet i mean i've been caught in, it'll be three years in, in march i think it was march 12th march 13th i ain't been caught with hours of having fucked up I was a service since, but I mean, the way that this company do it, you know, I don't know if they will catch me or not because like, it's crazy how they do it. Okay. But man, I'm not trying to ride out like this, like for real. I'm not, yo, man, I, yo, I, I, I be tired <laughs> for real. Like, the money's good. The Yo, money's I'm, I'm good, doing, but you try I'm not doing to... about 2400 I'm doing 2400 2500 a week. Okay. But how, I, how, I'm, how I'm going about doing the shit, for you, real. You want to do it right. You, like, you want to do it the right way. Yeah, like, I'm trying to get straight. That's what I'm saying. I Like, I'm trying to... Get with I don't want to work with no black ops. I want to get with a regular America ass company that pay and I know my shit fucked. I know it is. Right. I know it is. But you know, even though I had that fucked up accident, them fucked up violations, that out of service, that should be over with. Um. The hours of service violation should be over with in the middle of March. The accident mm -hmm. would be off my shit in uh, July. So, like, anything after that, 
I'm well. Oh, I forgot what the fire extinct. That was September. So September of um this coming September, all that bad shit to be off my shit. Okay. You know, far as those other two accidents, those not those not my fault. I got the accident report. You could clearly see it's not my fault. I can't control. Yeah, that other, that first accident I had, that was my negligence. But they didn't give me no, um, no ticket for the shit, so it really don't matter. But the shit that Melton put on my DAC report, that's what, you know, companies look at. You know, they put on, what they, on safety, some. Oh, some fucked up. Man, them motherfuckers tried to end my career. And it is what it is. Because, you know, Melton, that was the best company I ever worked for. Ever. Like, straight up. That That's a real good company. And I hate that I fucked up. But it is what it is. Life goes on. But at the same time, I ain't trying to keep rocking out like this. It's I got you. Get what I'm saying for real. Oof. Like, man. For real. Oof. Like, I, I started fucked up, but like, um, all my other, um, I've been pulled for inspections. I passed all my inspections. I only felt, in, like, I probably got about 10, um, DOT inspections. I only felt like, Three of them, no, two of them. Um, that time, the hours of service, and that fire extinct, all the other ones I passed. So, you know, if I could continue on and I could like break away, go to a, you know, decent company that pays, you know, pretty good, I'd be satisfied. You know, and wow. that's why I asked you, hey, check, you know, with these come check. I this I, what wasn't the first company I, I asked you about. I'll I'll what I'll do, man. I'll uh like I said, I was on the phone with them all day yesterday. They didn't answer. Uh they were supposed to call me back, didn't get a didn't get a call back. So I'll I'll shoot another call to them uh and try to get that lease information for you um if not i i know a few people that that uh that still drive for swift i could probably uh i could probably see if they can uh you know pass a little bit of information on to to me and i can uh and i could pass it on to you as far as what you know as far as what they're looking for and what they offer and everything but uh but yeah you know this this the road to recovery bruh i mean you know this is uh you know this 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 a good stretch um to you know to get back on a to get back on a good foot bro truck a low so yeah <laughs> Woo, great conversation yeah. man i you know i enjoyed myself my guy this is <laughs> This this is wow. How long you been how, how long you been uh how long you been driving all together? Like this is 2023. So how long you been driving all together? Uh 3 years. Okay. A little, okay. Just a little bit over 3 years. Okay. And while you with the Black Ops company, you still trying to keep yourself clean until you move on from them, right? Uh you asked why I'm with no. No, 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 no. I said, why? I said, while you with the black ops company, you're going to try to keep yourself clean until you get yourself right. 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 Yeah. No doubt, bro. No doubt. All right, man. Well, you're going here to stay safe. (laughs) Right. Stay safe in these streets, man. (laughs) Uh, Stay safe in these streets. Still try to, you know, still try to keep yourself together and get and 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 continue to keep uh, being clean, man. And uh, I'll get back with you in a little bit. 
I I appreciate that. No, I appreciate you, man. So uh, definitely, I appreciate your support. I appreciate uh, I appreciate your support and everything. And thank you very much, man. And thanks for coming on the show. I man, appreciate you. Yep. My radio, believe me, I like it loud. I'm the man with the rocks that can rock the crowd. Walking down the street to the hardcore beat. While my-